Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos and unboxing haul videos. Today's video is going to be a huge Timu haul. This is also part two of the video. If you haven't checked out part one of the video, make sure to check it out. Um, so before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and also consider subscribe. That Timu actually gave my um, viewers an exclusive discount code. I'll link it down below and pop it right here. So without further ado, let's get into today's haul. Apparently it was packed really really tightly. Whoever packs this, I owe you. Thank you so so much because this is actually made with real glasses. This is a glass mug with a wooden jar and a straw and this one comes with a handle and it's in this very nice shape. Um, in my last Timu haul, I also got a, I also got one with a round shape with a lid but this one without the actual handle. It's gonna be handier, <laughs> a little bit easier to carry but it also carry different vibes because this one is like all round and cute and this one is like a more elegant I would say um, this is matcha latte from my pre previous Timu haul it's my best purchase in the entire haul I believe I just love it so so much ever since I got it I've been drinking a matcha uh, ice matcha latte from this every day it's just it is a vibe I understand why youtubers they all use this it's just like the whole process of making matcha it's like way more therapeutic definitely like one of my favorite things mug lid covers so this is what it looks like so essentially you put this lid it's like a lid on your mug or cup um, to prevent any dust or bug how many times like if you drink coffee or anything with a little bit of a sweetener or milk there's so many times I made coffee and then I was like, oh, I need to do something like film a video and stuff. And I went back to it and I took a look and there's a little fruit fly in it and there were a little end in there. I was like, ew, gross. Hope it does prevent it. The next so item, I'm super excited to try this out actually. This is a travel digital bag. What it is, is that it's basically a compartmentalized bag to put your electronics or digital stuff, provide some protection. So this is what it looks like and you open it. And these are the things, these are like elastic bend. So what it is, you put your charging wires, um, you fold them like this and you put it in there. You can put your camera in there. And then for here, it comes with these little things and you can put your batteries, your like camera batteries in there. So it's pretty nice. So like wires, camera batteries or whatever, it looks like this. You can compartmentalize it however you want. Let's say if you have two cameras, then I can put one here, one here. And then in between, I can be like, Oh, I actually have a big camera or two small camera. I can just add it in here. Look, and then you can just put everything in here and then you zip it up. And then you carry it with you in your backpack and things like that. And I got more of the sunglasses and it comes with a sunglasses case. So this one is a tea colored. Oh my gosh, I like it. What do you guys think? It actually works. It has like this gradients color. I do like that. Cause then like when you're here, it doesn't change the color as much. What do you guys think? How do I look? Um, it feels pretty luxurious, but it's very, very lightweighted. It's not heavy at all. What do you guys think? I think I look good. And these sunglasses are so much cheaper than buying anywhere else that I don't feel bad if I ruined it. Oh, this is actually pretty good looking. It actually, oh, I like this one. This one is like, this one looks good. It looks expensive. This one is not as dark looking, I think. Like it has a gradient color as well. Gray to like a little tea color, a gradient color change. But like, oh my God, it matches my face so much. And then like, I just like the edges. Like this looks so good, guys. It looks expensive. I'll feel bad if I lose this even though it was cheap. But I think that one is my favorite because when I saw it, I was like, I bet it will look good. I'll get some sunglasses. Oh, this one is kind of like 
similar to the first ever sunglasses I got. This one is not as dark. Like it feels dark at the top, but it doesn't feel like very dark. It's more like a cosmetic look, but it still offers some protection. So, but if you take a look, this one, not as dark as the other two. So this is what it looks like. I'm going bananas with this one because they're so cheap. I want it to be dark. I want this one to be dark when I like drive. This one, so dark. Like so, so dark. It definitely works as sunglasses. It is sunglasses for sunglasses. It's not as like cosmetic looking. Like it is in this like purple-ish color, but when I put it on, like everything is just super dark. But I just got a very like normal pair of sunglasses. These are plastic. This is not like the uh, fancy glass sunglasses. These are plastic. It's super lightweighted and it's super dark and I don't have to worry about breaking it and it's so darn cheap I don't have to worry about losing it I don't have to worry about scratching it I don't have to feel bad I just put it on when I drive um, to prevent the sun hurting my eyes I can just put it in my bag and not worry about it if I lose it then I lose it so oh, and I got a small humidifier it's like if it works I'll take it I'll put it in my hospital bag <laughs> um, so this is a little humidifier interesting oh I was like where's the damn charger it's in there <laughs> Okay, so it comes with a little charger and then you put in a water it says to put tap water and then you can just like put in USB and go. We'll see. All right guys, we're gonna try this little humidifier. So basically you rotate it and you just put water in there. Uh, it says before the first use actually, um, you want to twist this thing open and open this. So here is a little like um, cotton stick. It says don't lose this little metal thing inside of this. So, okay. Alright, so it says soak this into the water for about one to two minutes. So I have a little bit of the eucalyptus essential oil. Alright, I think it's sung already. So let's put into this cotton stick and then reassemble this back. Put a little bit of essential oil in this. Hopefully it works out. It didn't say that I could, but I just wanted to try. <laughs> now put it back on, twist it on. It comes with a USB charging thing, power thing. So I have to find like one of my old iPhones. Oh, yay. There we go. Here's the mist. And it also has a little bit of the color changing thing. So it actually changes the color. If you guys can tell now, it's purple. It started with red and then purple. This was nice. Actually, it works pretty nicely. Here's our little humidifier. What do you guys think? It's pretty handy, I would say. And the mist is actually pretty thin. I'm actually pretty impressed. <laughs> It's like actually a pretty powerful humidifier. The next product, I always wanted to try this. This is actually a beauty product. It's a skin like cleanse product. It's like to clean your pores and whatever, like the whiteheads and whatever. I always wanted to buy these, but they're so expensive in Sephora, so I never bought it. Charger. Actually, it comes with two chargers. I don't know why. So this is what the product looks like and it comes with like a little button and it has lifting, moisturizing, and cleansing. And then this is basically the head. So this is probably the cleansing blade. Come with these two. Ta-da! These two heads. You can also put these on. Moisturizing and cleansing. Lifting, moisturizing, and cleansing. This is hard. I think this is the main Sonic head versus these two or if you want to use it like as a cleanser. We're gonna try out this. We're gonna use all of the functions. Um, especially I think this one because it says like it's multi-function. So basically it has like a cleansing. You can use it as a cleanser. Okay, there we go. We're gonna use a little bit cleanser. This is the Kiehl's Canoodala Deep Cleansing Foam Face Wash. A little bit of cleanser here and this is like three dots. It feels really nice. It actually feels really intense. And you can see the foam start to foam here. And then you can use this to clean your 
nose like area. Supposedly it should be warm water, but the water is still kind of cold. Whew. It actually feels really nice. It definitely makes my face feel cleaner than not using this. We're gonna try out the blackhead function. I'm actually really excited because I have like some blackheads like or right here in my T-zone. I don't know if you guys can see, and this is a mirror that I got from Timu. And this is actually my first favorite order that I got from Timu, and it was just so so because it has like LED lights, there's rechargeable lights, you don't have to hook it with anywhere, it has like a ring light that comes with it. We're gonna see if I can do some like cleansing. So I got a little bit of white head. I know it feels like really weird. This is my first time using something like this. Oh, I got a little bit of white head. I don't know if you guys can can see actually. It's kind of gross, but just as a product review, it's like at the very edge, there's like a little bit of white head. I feel like my face is actually pretty clean. It's just a little bit white head. There we go, a little bit more white head, a little bit more white head. I don't know if you guys can see at the very top of the edge. Do you guys can see? Like there's like a little bit of white head right there. So it's working. So we're gonna use some pads to clear this. Oh, look, can you guys see? I know it's kind of gross. I don't, I don't want to gross you out, but again, this is a product review. Just long press it, and then you can make the level a little higher with this. But I don't like it to be too high when I clear my head, like white heads and stuff. I want it to be a little bit slow and steady. Okay, so we washed this. I think it worked out really, really good, really, really well. Speaking of cosmetic, I bought a Mighty Patch. These, but before I was pregnant, I had a lot of acne. It looks just like the one from Amazon, but it's so much cheaper. It comes with these patches, so if you have a pimple or acne, don't, um, don't pick on them. Just put on one of those patches. It works. It absorbs the juice or whatever inside, and it's just like, it helps. So I got one just... Scratchies! So what it is, is basically to scratch your back. Uh, what it is, is it exfoliates. See, the it's kind of like a super rough material. Ever since I got pregnant, like it's so hard for me to reach my back. And sometimes when it's itchy, I want to scratch my back, especially when I take shower. I want to exfoliate my back. I couldn't reach it. But this one, you can just easily exfoliate your back. It's pretty nice, I would say. So I got one of these things myself. This is just a normal like a shower thing. And it feels pretty nice because it feels like it could exfoliate me. So I got one of the shower things. And this is this is actually a repurchase. I actually got it in one of my previous hauls and I really liked it. This is the makeup remover. I'll insert my little try out. So that if you don't wear a waterproof mascara, like you don't even have to use like a makeup remover. You can just use like warm water and this. These are magical because they're kind of like a microfiber towels, but a little bit softer. And you can use it to remove your makeup or your clay mask or whatever it's really good i bought one from timu in my previous hauls my bathroom we're gonna try out this towel right now and i just want to compare this one is actually from the makeup eraser brand it's a i think this one is a smaller piece it's i think maybe 20 dollars for two about 10 dollars. and this one is from the timu website and this one is basically the same size <gasps> so one is more than ten dollars and the other one is one dollar and in terms of the quality i do think the makeup eraser one it feels a little thicker than the timu one the timu one is a little thinner damp the timu one really really in the hot water it's warm water it's not that hot okay we're gonna damp it thoroughly make it super wet so let's take a look removing my makeup you can see my makeup in here <laughs> i don't have any cleanser there's no soap on the towel i'm just like wet wiping basically i think first impression it actually pretty good it removed my eyeliner my face right now oh, there's no makeup anymore <gasps> okay we're gonna take a wet towel to see if there's any residue on this wipe so we're gonna wipe it again Oh my gosh, there is no makeup left. 
And honestly, I really like that experience. It feels pretty nice and it has like a nice exfoliating effect also. So highly recommend it. One side is softer, one side is more exfoliation. The other side is more like makeup removing. I got a ring. Oh my God, it looks so pretty guys. I have to give it a shout out. Look, look how pretty. Oh my God. It looks so pretty guys. So my fingers are swollen these days. My wedding rings, they don't match anymore. So I bought a cheaper ring. I actually got size six um, because I know like, these are my fingers, size six, five, four. So previously this finger will wear four. Now I think it will wear five. It looks so pretty guys. Isn't it pretty? It's so cheap. Like it's actually so cheap because I think one of you guys actually commented in my previous video like I got some jewelry from Timu. They actually turned out to be really good like and they're so cheap and I was like, okay, let me try it and then like the viewers you guys never lie. I got some earrings. These look so pretty, but I have sad news. One of my ear piercing actually grew together. So this is what it looks like and then it's in this gold color and this is what it looks like look it's so sparkling it looks like real but it's not it's so darn cheap like it's so pretty um but i have to get my ears repairs we have one earrings look oh. look i like it i really like it i don't like to buy expensive earrings look i i think it looks so pretty what do you guys think you guys have to comment down below what do you think of this ear? this side is fully grown i have to go get pierced again so. and then i got another earring this one is so pretty the butterfly i'll show you guys i just bought this one because it looks cool it looks like this so basically the butterfly is outside and then like the little bling bling is like behind i thought it looks so cool but this one you can tell like it's kind of like not real gold oh this is another earring these are the um these are just like very simple pearl that goes like this of course this one doesn't work you guys have to forgive me look but i have to get my ear pierced but i was like maybe i should wait until after the pregnancy bracelet these bracelets are so expensive when you go to like local boutique stores but look how pretty like it looks really pretty with things like this and it's actually pretty nice right isn't it pretty but you have to be careful like when you select the colors because it, it took me a while to actually like select the color that i like because i don't want to accidentally get like a dark color or things like that so when you select a color like make sure the color like number you get is from like the perfect picture that you like and then like take some time but yeah it's really nice it looks pretty and then i got this evil eye thing I don't know if you guys, about you guys, but I do believe in like, you know, these superstition things. I want everything to go well um, during my pregnancy. So I got one of those evil eye thing and it, you can like adjust the whatever, adjust the um, length. So I got one of them for myself. I also got a cleansing and beautifying solid mask. I'm gonna try this out as well. Now we're gonna try out this mask that I got from Timu. This is their cleansing and beautifying solid mask from Timu. It's from this brand Maxi Lava mask. It's, it's like it's made with like howling. So I did get this mask from Timu, really, really cheap, and it's supposed to be like a cleansing and beautifying mask. It looks like this. And oh, it's kind of like a stick. So basically you twist it and then you open it. It's kind of like a solid like stick mask. Interesting, interesting. So basically it's a stick. So this is really easy for travel, I guess. So we're just gonna put it on. Oh, it's so like, it's so like cooling and it's a little bit minty. It feels really nice. Oh my gosh, this actually feels so, it feels very cooling and hydrating. It doesn't, it, it doesn't sting or anything because sometimes I use like those cleansing masks, it stings my skin. Um, but this one does, let's see, wow, it actually works. 
oh my god just gonna wait here to wait for it to dry out but it feels really really nicely just from the first impression and you just it's not in a jar like this is so easy it's so easy to like, apply you don't you don't mess with your hands you just use this stick it's like a stick mask it says leave it for 10 minutes so we're gonna leave it, leave it for 10 so minutes. It's actually been 14 minutes and I am glad to say that there is no irritation on my skin. I don't feel sting. I feel like, I can feel that the clay mask kind of dried out a little, but it's still kind of hydrating. It doesn't make my face feel like, uh, 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 can't move. Honestly, it's, it surprises me. It really surprises me. I didn't expect to like this mask so much because it's so cheap. It just tells you like, you know, how much they charge you in Sephora. It's technically a skin. <laughs> Oh, nice. It feels really nicely when I clean this. My pores are definitely a little bit smaller. Like it has a nice cleansing effect, but it also calms my face. Cause like, um, so my nose is a little bit red, but my face is not as red as much. Um, because like, you know, the irritation that I had due to my allergies, but like, it's very hydrating. It's very detoxing and it's, it feels like I feel refreshed. It's actually one of the best detox mask or like hydrating mask that I tried. Yeah, this one is really, really, really good. I'll link it down below. Like, it surprises me so, so, so much. Whitening firming mask. I have to try this on to let you know. But like, I got some face mask. Really nice. Asian Asian contours make the best face mask. Like these shape masks are so 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 popular in Asian countries such as China, Japan, Korea. If you go to those countries, like I really wear face masks because those are like hydrating. Let's open this. So this is like I got two. Honestly, I wanted to get more. And it has a lot of essence actually. So basically, when you open this, oh the shape of this mask is very good. It's not too big, it's not too small. There is no irritation so far, which is great. Cause you know, like I have really sensitive skin right now. Oh, nice. It's like, it makes you feel very nice and pampered. You can get a little essence to your um, neck. And then inside of this bag, there's still a little bit of essence. So I usually get all of the ice essence out and Get into my neck. I think I've seen people use it this way. So we're gonna just use like one, I think, to do a little massage right here. It feels pretty nice here. So just go like this. There are a lot of like acupressure points here. So try to lift from bottom to up. I think next time, if I can, I can get a roller from Timu. And then right here, this is how you do the massage. All you need is five minutes every day just to pamper yourself. Alright, so we're gonna do about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes from here. So it just feels super nice. Okay, alright guys, we are back. It's actually been 20 minutes because there are actually a lot of essence on this thing. Like remember my nose was like so red before, um, you know, when I was cleansing my face and whatever. And now it's all gone. Look, it's so hydrated and it just makes my face so much better. Like this is actually way better than I expected. It's like, way better than I expected. Like I love this. Those are really good for like under eye bags or dark circles, especially if you didn't sleep well. So I'm gonna try this out tomorrow. We're gonna do like a little try out. This is what it looks like. So basically you just put it under your eyes and just put it there for like 15 to 20 minutes out. It does have some essence on this too. It has some essence on this thing too and then we're gonna put this on yeah it feels very hydrating because there's like some essence there so yeah we're gonna just put it on let it stay for 15 to 20 minutes so hard it so far it feels really hydrating um just because it has essence to it you know sometimes i buy these things from other stores like sometimes there are not a lot of essence in there but i can feel like there's like a little bit of essence so it feels like a really hydrated so yeah Alright guys, so we're back here. What do you guys think? It's been a while. You can see like, so basically, oh, 
my dark circles are a little bit brightened like the little essence like the liquid on this like patch kind of like become less and less and that's my cue to take it off i do think it's like a slightly brightening effect right here it's definitely moisturized my skin and their eyes it feels pretty nice like what do you guys think i don't have any makeup on you can tell i was gonna try the other one the next day but i just can't wait this is the green seaweed firming eye mask anti-aging firming um take a look this is what the product looks like it also has this little liquid essence thing so we're gonna try this on so much essence guys it's like dripping liquid so we're gonna put one on whoa this feels so nice guys it feels very very hydrating oh it's cooling it has a little bit of cooling effect because i guess it's from the seaweed oh this is like a hydrating eye mask we're gonna see we're gonna see you in about 15 minutes it's been 15 minutes and then you can tell like all of the essence are absorbed by my skin and it actually looks pretty good let me turn on the lights actually actually like my under eyes looks really good i can tell that i look less tired um so it's the effect is probably like pretty temporary like um you probably will need it like before going to a party or going out on a date or whatever because like if you need it to be consistently good you need to use it like all the time to make sure that that this area is well hydrated um so usually when they're like dehydrated really dry it just makes me look super super tired but yeah i feel super nice and, and i got a little <laughs> scissors for beauty product this is like a, a scissor for your brows so basically like you can use it to trim your brows as they grow a little bit longer you want them to be not like everywhere so you can use this one to trim your brow i think it's a really good design it has like um hairbrush on one side and the scissors on the other side super nice makeup um this is my first time getting makeup from there because i'm just like expanding my things that i wanted to try this is an eyeliner it's like a off-brand eyeliner it's a felt tip eyeliner let's try it Oh, it seems like it works pretty well, actually. I think I will like it, honestly. Waterproof, I'm gonna actually try it out tomorrow. Then it will be so great, but look how dark and smooth and thin it is. It's so easy to draw. So I'm actually really, really excited about this. So this is a, um, for your eyebrows, and I got in the color of gray looks pretty darn good it looks pretty good you can make it thinner you can make it a little like thicker seems like a good item i hope it works out oh, there we go this is the eyebrow pencil I, it's like a, it has like a eyebrow and a brush so let's open this okay so this one is in the color of i also got it in the color of gray it's a eyebrow pencil all right guys i just want to say the eyeliner and the brow pencils they're definitely waterproof and smudge proof because i just washed my hands with soap and water and none of them smudged i have to use a makeup remover to remove them so i actually have really high hope in this because it draws really really nicely and it's actually like waterproof, smudge proof. So we're gonna use some waterproof like um, makeup balm or a remover to remove these in now because they actually stay put quite nicely. That's a really nice surprise because the eyeliner is actually waterproof. Nice. I think it's a success. All right, so the next product, I think this is a eyeshadow palette. Ta-da, this is an eyeshadow palette, okay. It's definitely different from like the actual like Natasha Denona Glam Palette but the colors are pretty similar looking. The texture of some of the glitters are different but it actually looks pretty good. Thing looks really similar to the Natasha Denona Glam Palette but they're very different. Um, this is the first time I actually put, bought like a makeup palette from here. So what do you guys think? Think. I have to actually try it in my eyes to see to tell. First impression color story is very similar. So, oh, this is what it looks like. It's another eyeshadow palette. 
but I think it's trying to be the dupe for Huda Beauty. Um, especially this is definitely a dupe for Huda Beauty, but we'll see. In terms of the texture, it's very different, but some of the shimmers actually have similar shades, like similar texture to Huda Beauty. I feel like it's harder to dupe Natasha Denona than Huda Beauty just because how high quality the powder is. Bronze colored. Look at this. This is definitely trying to dupe Huda Beauty. I don't know if you guys can tell. I have to try it on my face again. I'm very curious about it. Oh, this is probably like duping like NYX or something. Oh, look at this. This shimmery look. It's very typical like Asian color palette i think most of the asian beauty products that i got like most of them are not as pigmented because they're going for like that natural look the fake one is basically half of the sizes of the real glam so as you can see the color looks kind of similar but not exactly the same um the texture looks definitely very different this one this one looks super pretty kind of looks like that huda beauty one this is kind of like a more like subtle more neutral color, white color for the base of my eyes. So this at the beginning, like for a little bit of this, the base color kind of just looks like my normal eye color. I would say this palette is not as pigmented, shimmery color, and I like the fact that it came with a mirror. So we're gonna use a little bit of the shimmer color at the top. This color is kind of like this nude color way more pigmented than the other one than like the first palette that i tried from team real actual powder is actually not too bad like this is actually not bad especially the matte color palette we're gonna use like a little bit of that pink um terracotta color I can tell like it's getting a little bit warm i felt like this palette is actually pretty pigmented as well we're gonna use a little bit of this color Ooh, this one is actually pigmented. This one, like at the top, right? This one actually pretty pigmented. Oh my god. I say this is probably like the most pigmented palette that I got. From a little bit of the shimmer shades from the middle. We're just gonna use my fingers to put it on the top. Whoa. Do you guys see this? I led to use like some of the darker shades. We're gonna use this one. A little bit of the darker ones to actually create some depth so we're gonna create some depth right here to darken it a little it's a shade and we're gonna use like a little bit of more purple-ish shimmer color using my finger this is really big and we're gonna just blend everything together what do you guys think it actually looks pretty good all right guys so we're first gonna draw the eyebrows because i felt like i desperately need eyebrows i need your actual hair color my hair color is actually brown but my brow eyebrow color is actually black i also got this scissors we're gonna use it to clean my brows a little eyebrows are done eyeliner that we got from timu is definitely waterproof Okay, we got it. I just need a little lipstick. I like this eyeshadow the most. This is like a really good pigmented eyeshadow palette. I'm on all, everything I got for Team with this is really, really, really. It's definitely way cheaper than like if you buy it from Sephora or whatever. So yeah. Oh, this is a towel. This is actually a kitchen towel. It should be featured in my previous haul. But these are really good quality. And if you can see, it's really pretty and it's very absorbent. Like you can tell this towel is very absorbent and I got a white and the gray. I actually got both for my husband because my husband is trying to use like more kitchen towels instead of like the paper towels. I've been buying these a lot from Timu website since I know about this. Um, Timu is actually really, really good to buy beauty products, cosmetics, or the fake nails. If you go to Target to buy these, it's gonna be like five to ten dollars, but at Timu it's between one to two dollars. And you can choose the length, shorter lens because like um, the longer ones, like, it's hard for me to type and stuff. Um, so I got a lot of these. Look how pretty it is. All of them are like under two dollars. This is also a repurchase. Um, cherry blossom and then uh, this one 
I don't use the sticker. I just use a real nail glue that I got from Amazon. I also bought some from Timu this time. I haven't tried them out yet. I got some nail glue to try from this brand. If it doesn't work out, I will get back to Amazon. This is just my scissors. I also got a hairbrush. This is made with wood and bamboo. It's actually really nice quality. In the local grocery store, this could like cost like so much money, but it's so much cheaper. So these ones, like they don't create sta like static when you brush your hair. It makes your hair a little bit more like go down a little. Timo is a very good place to buy these like cosmetic stuff. That's it for today's video. Thank you so so much for unboxing with us. I also venture out to get more items, like different categories of items, like jewelry. Oh my gosh, like I can't get enough of this ring. So thank you so so much for watching and support and unboxing and comment down below what's your favorite item in today's haul and also comment down below what's your favorite items to get from like Timu. This is a part two of the video. Make sure you check out the part one of the video. Give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!